Okay, so I'm cleaning off one of these because I had one done and I cut the candles off. So I'm just gonna show you how I cut. This one is all done, it's the width that I want. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm actually gonna take my knife, dip it into the, the hot water so it's hot and then cut. Oops. Well, sometimes I use this one instead. Sometimes I like the scissors. I think I need some new scissors for sure. There we go. Woo! See, I let these get cool too fast, too much. So it's a whole lot easier when they're, when they're hot. So it's been out in the cold. Oops, twisting. Candle making is a tricky thing. <laughs> Especially when you do it like home <laughs> on your front on your back porch, right? Yeah, I let these get too cold. But if you if you cut these when they're like nice and warm, then they're super easy to cut off. And I probably need some new scissors as well. Okay, so they're cut free now. So here's my candles. This, I have to put it back in the wax. Yeah, it's gonna make it. And then it will melt off into there so I can, so it will be clean like this one again. I can start again and restrain the string it. So then these on the bottom, I'm actually gonna roll. So I actually roll the bottoms of it. And again, it works a whole lot better when it's when it's warm. But then I can kind of take the edge off the bottom, because otherwise you have this edge like this. So it's kind of cold out here, so it got it got cold pretty fast. And I like to do this actually on my kitchen table, because I have a log table and like it doesn't move. <laughs> And then if they're warm, you can actually roll it like this and then taper them pretty, pretty beautifully into a point. So I'm just getting going tonight, so I'm, I'm kind of relearning how to do this myself, even though I've done it a lot. So then I'm going to hang these to completely dry in here. So I went ahead and normally Isaac strings makes some. Um, too far. I just wanted to keep them apart just a little bit, but normally he strings me um, line and then I hang it over the line, but we're trying it this way this time. I want it like this. So anyway, and so then when they completely dry, then I can pack them in a box with tissue between them. So yeah, happy Hanukkah. I love making candles, like I said. During, I'm going to string one. Do you want to see me string one? Okay, I'll string. Let me show you how to string one. Because then, then we'll be all done. Maybe I'll have you go that way and I'll do it in the light here. Okay, so basically you're uh, going to get this all cleaned off here. And then you pull it up to whatever size you want the candle. So I want mine to be about, uh, what was I doing, 10 inches? Okay. I'm doing it 10 inches, so basically I get kind of a idea. No, I think I was doing 12 inches. So somewhere right around here. Oops, right there. So I tighten it down. These things are super cool. They're kind of spendy. I think these are, I want to say $40 each. But this is my wick right here. And so then I tie, tie the, the wick at the end on one of the bottom ones here. Oh, my fingers are cold. <laughs> this is good for me to, this little video for me to remember. Because it, but I'm gonna make all my Shabbat candles, all my Havdalah candles, all my Pesach 
um, dedication candles, Hanukkah dedication candles, Hanukkah candles. So then basically I string it like this. You go from bottom to top and then over. And kind of try to keep it straight. But can you see that here? Let's see if you can... Might be a little tricky to... Oh, this is a great how-to video, isn't it? There we go, let's try this again. So you're gonna string over and down. Can you see that? Yeah. And here, and then over. So you're gonna actually get six candles on this. And then down here, and then I will cut it and tie it on the bottom. All I, the, the only other thing I do here is um, I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and tight and then I loosen it here and then pull it up tight so that the string is really straight and tight. And then, and then you start your first dip. Oh, this stuff right here, I'll show you real quickly. This stuff, I cut, so I actually cut this off like this. Can you see that, I see? So as it gets softer, I can cut it off so that it can um, get cleaned off faster. Mm. So I actually peel it down. It's a lot of wax right here and it's really hot and so you have to be super careful. Mm. I think I'm gonna let that kind of clean itself off for a minute. And this is all ready to go and we start to be, I will eat. All right, there you have it. Everything is working. Now we've got it going and now it's almost dark. <laughs> so we're gonna be up till a, way, a while because that will get solid overnight and then you have to re get it re-thawed or whatnot, re-melted to start dipping again tomorrow. So it just takes a long time. Anyway, shalom. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah.